Hello everyone, this is a quick video to show you a good location to get your objectives for your risk runner catalyst completed quite quickly. In order to get the risk runner catalyst itself, it drops from the completion of any strike. It is completely RNG and in my case I got it from my 123rd completion of Prestige Nightfall. The objectives for the risk runner catalyst are you have to kill enemies and you also have to get superconductor kills. In order to get superconductor kills, you need to get arc conductor to proc and then kill enemies and then when you kill those enemies those enemies chain lightning to other enemies and those enemies that die from the chain lightning count towards the superconductor kills not your actual smg kills so a good place to do this is the terminus lost sector which is next to the future scape uh, spawn area so you want to head over there once you reach the terminus lost sector this is my general way of getting superconductor kills with every uh, lost sector run through that i do so you run past these acolytes and knights and you'll see these thrall come from this doorway and you want these thrall to follow you into the next room where more thrall are going to spawn because the idea is you want a large group of thrall to be around you since these thrall do arc melee damage which procs your arc conductor so when you have arc conductor active and you kill one of these thrall it will chain lightning to the rest of them and because they're so low health the chain lightning will kill them which means that you're getting a lot of superconductor kills and you're working on that catalyst and it's essentially the same principle when you come into the boss room as well you wait for the ads to come to you to proc our conductor and you essentially just go to town on all these uh, low health enemies. Make sure, of course, that you have arc conductor proc when you are killing the low health enemies. You don't want to be killing them when they're not because that won't count. You won't be chaining lightning to other low health enemies and that won't count towards your superconductor kills. As for this location, I really like it because it's a lost sector so other people can't interfere. There's a lots of opportunities for arc conductor to proc. The boss does arc damage. Thrall do melee arc damage. The cursed thrall when they explode taking arc damage. Another benefit is you can work on other things as well at the same time. So if you have a character who's done the necessary quests, you can farm resonant stems because you're essentially doing a lost sector and over and over again. And if you're using a sword, you can use the power ammo that drops from the boss to kill the remaining acolytes and knights that you left behind from before in the hopes of maybe getting the uh, worldline catalyst to uh, drop for you if you haven't got that already since that drops from RNG sword kills. So this location is really good to work on a lot of things all at once. And if you want to restart the process, you just exit the lost sector and do it all over again. Rinse and repeat. I hope this location proves to be useful. With every lost sector run, I was getting between 10 to 15% of the superconductor kills that I needed. So I know with this method, you will get the masterwork quite quickly. Thank you very much for watching.